All right, Juliana, so we're here at Kraken practice, and I want to get your, your hockey background. My first introduction to hockey, to the NHL, really was through this Kraken project, and I've been delighted to learn more about it. And, and actually, the game that I'm going to be going to um, this week will be my first ice hockey game ever. What are you looking forward to most? Well, you know, one thing I was just noticing is they're moving around on the ice in ice skate. Yeah. It's like breathing. Yeah. They don't even, because you know what they have on their mind, it's what they're doing with their stick and something else and other strategic moves. They're not at all even thinking about where they're placing their feet or what they're doing with their feet. It looks like flying. I want to know the the areas of the Kraken logo, the areas of, of the organization that influenced your process and your design process. One of the thoughts I had and that it would also tie in with Lunar New Year was the concept of yin and yang. And so I did want to present another powerful creature, much like the Kraken, you know. Instead of it being mimicking the Kraken, I wanted it to be like the mirror image. And so where the eye is for the Kraken, I placed the face of my dragon in the opposite part of the S, down below. I really like love using scales as a motif in my work. You can think of like each scale in the design as like each member of the community. All the people, all the fans that are just making up each little scale that then together, when we come together, infer the power and protection. That just sounds like, like the players, you make it sound so easy, and it's so beautiful, and it looks so intentional. It's interesting watching and hearing you talk about your passion and how you relayed this brand with your idea and your design. I'm new to hockey, but yeah. thank you so much oh, for you know inviting me along. It's just it's been fun.